What's going on guys? This is Tyler, pharmacist with Pharmacy Update, and today we are going to talk about a drug that is used to treat nasal congestion, and that is pseudoephedrine, or brand name Sudafed. We'll cover quite a bit of information in this video. We will talk about some general information on Sudafed, and what the requirements are for purchasing this medication without a prescription. I'll talk about some warnings and precautions pertaining to Sudafed, the side effects, and then at the end of this video, I'm going to discuss the use of pseudoephedrine in pregnancy and breastfeeding women. So here we go. Before I start, I just want to make sure that before you take any medication over the counter, including Sudafed, always consult with your doctor first, especially if you're taking multiple medications or you have other health-related conditions. Alright, so first I want to go over some general facts about pseudoephedrine. This drug is approved by the FDA for the treatment of nasal sinus congestion. This is a very common condition where your nose becomes stuffy and it makes it hard to breathe. I'm sure everyone knows what I'm talking about. And the nice thing about this medication is that it does do a good job at clearing your nasal congestion. Uh, especially over the counter wise, there really isn't any medication that does a better job. However, there are some possible complications of using this drug, and we'll discuss those in a minute. Pseudoephedrine is available as either a prescription medication or something that you can buy behind the pharmacy counter. So this is not a medication that you can just buy in the aisles. You must go directly to the pharmacy to purchase it. Now, this may have changed in some states. Some states have reclassified Sudafed as a scheduled drug or made it a prescription only medication. So just check with your state's guidelines concerning pseudoephedrine. And I'm not really going to get into why there are so many obstacles to get this medication, uh, but you can research that on your own if you would like to. Also, if you want to purchase this, you will have to have an acceptable ID. Uh, for many people, this would just be a driver's license or a personal identification. And finally, again, this can be different according to your state, but you must be at least 18 years old to buy this medication without a prescription. So if you are planning on buying some of this, just make sure that you are prepared when you go into the pharmacy. There is one other nasal decongestant that you can buy over the counter without a prescription, and that is phenylephrine. Pseudoephedrine, in my opinion, is a superior option when it comes to clearing nasal congestion when compared to phenylephrine. And there's actually been some studies to show that phenylephrine really works no better than placebo or a sugar tablet. So just keep that in mind when you're weighing your options. Now, like I said, this medication is also available as a prescription, and it is contained in many cough and cold prescription medications. So according to Johnson & Johnson, the manufacturer of brand name Sudafed, there are some conditions that if you have, you should ask a doctor before using this. And some of these are understandable given the possible side effects of the drug. Uh, first off, and this is a contraindication, so under no circumstance should you take these two medications together. There is a group of drugs known as the monoamine oxidase inhibitors, or MAOIs, that really aren't very popular. I hardly see them used anymore. Uh, they can be used to treat depression and Parkinson's disease. Some examples include Celagene and Phenylzine. So if you take a medication in this drug class, you do not want to take Sudafed. And even if you do stop this medication, you must wait at least two weeks before you can take Sudafed, so just be aware of that. Uh, there are some conditions that you need to contact your doctor before using Pseudoephedrine. This includes heart disease and high blood pressure. And on the next slide, we'll talk about why. It also includes thyroid disease, diabetes. Now, diabetes, I really couldn't find a lot of information on why you shouldn't take this medication without asking a doctor first. But I guess there have been some reports of higher blood sugar after taking Sudafed. Uh, but again, I really couldn't find too much information proving that. Other ones include trouble urinating due to an enlarged prostate because it can worsen that problem. And also, if you have glaucoma or are over the age of 65 years old, 
You will want to consult with a doctor before using this. Now we will move on to side effects of pseudoephedrine. And this is certainly not a full list. These are just some of the more common ones that I decided to add. So there are other possible side effects besides these ones. But, but anyway, probably one of the most important side effects you wanna watch out for is an increase in blood pressure and heart rate. If you have uncontrolled hypertension or a pretty severe heart disease, you'll probably want to steer clear of this medication. Now the effects of this are normally pretty mild. It won't shoot your blood pressure up 100 points or anything, but still it's something that if you're already having trouble with, you don't want to worsen the problem. If you take blood pressure medication, but your blood pressure is under pretty good control, talk to your doctor first. Like I said, using this for a short period of time may not do any damage. The next side effect here is stimulation of the central nervous system and this can cause a variety of effects. It can really give you some energy, it can give you a pep in your step. Um, it can also cause a little bit of hyperactivity, especially at higher doses. For this reason, I always tell my patients to not take this medicine close to bedtime because it can cause some insomnia due to the stimulated central nervous system and can make it hard to sleep. Along with that, it can also make a person become nervous and even twitchy in some cases. So if you already have anxiety problems, you may want to consider that before taking this medication. Uh, it can possibly make it worse. And a couple other side effects here I'll mention include skin rash and dysuria or difficulty urinating. Now on to my next topic, patient education. So what should you know before taking this drug, besides what we've already covered? Obviously, you don't want to take more pseudoephedrine than prescribed, and if you're buying it yourself, just follow the directions on the box. Don't take more than what it says. Uh, you may also want to consider limiting your caffeine intake while using this medication, and this is mostly because of the combination of the two drugs causing excess nervousness, increased heart rate, and even shakiness. So just be aware of that, maybe try to separate the two. As far as taking it with food, it does not matter. So take it without regard to meals. And there are some extended release formulations of this available, including medications such as Claritin D and Mucinex D. Anytime you hear a D in the name, that usually means decongestant. Uh, do not crush or chew these formulations as that will mess with the proper release of the drug. So just make sure you swallow the tablet whole for these particular medications. And I did include the number to the Poison Control Center here if you suspect a potential overdose. The number is 1-800-222-1222. This is always a good number to keep uh, just in case you have a suspected overdose. I would suggest keeping this number on your fridge or somewhere that is easily accessible. But as with any medication, if you suspect an overdose of pseudoephedrine, call this number and get medical help as soon as possible. And with that, I will move on to one of my final topics, and that is the use of pseudoephedrine in pregnancy. So I'll say it again, always consult with your OBGYN or doctor before taking anything during pregnancy. Um, as far as pseudoephedrine, it should normally be avoided in the first trimester because there has been some limited studies showing it could possibly cause birth defects when taken in the first trimester. Uh, your doctor may decide otherwise, it's really up to them. As far as the second and third trimesters, there has been a case report of increased fetal heartbeat while taking pseudoephed for an extended period of time. There's also some studies that show that taking only a single dose did not increase any risk of birth defects. So really just speak with your doctor, get their opinion, see what you guys decide on. The mother really needs to take care of herself as well. So if the nasal drainage is unbearable, it may be an option to take this drug. As with any medication decision, it really comes down to risk versus benefit. Are you willing to take these moderate risks to get the benefit from the drug? That's the question you have to ask yourself. 
Now, what about breastfeeding and taking Sudafed? It can be an option for mothers, but it really does have many possible negative side effects if you do take it. Uh, first off, pseudoephedrine does cross into the breast milk, so the baby will be getting a dose if you take it. And there has been reports of agitation and irritability in babies exposed to this drug. So again, you will definitely want to talk with your doctor first. Another big possible issue with this drug is that it does decrease milk production, at least in the short term, and that can be by up to 24%. It actually does this so well that some have suggested to use it when a woman is producing too much milk and a condition known as hyperglacia. So if you are already having issues producing enough milk, you don't want to further jeopardize that by taking this medicine, but speak with your doctor and if you guys agree to try this, I do suggest taking this dose right after a feeding. That way the baby will get a minimal dose compared to taking it, say, an hour or two before feeding. Well, that's all I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you felt this video helped you or educated you, I would appreciate a like. Also, please subscribe to my channel for the latest pharmacy and medical updates, including drug reviews such as this one. So I thank you again, and have a nice day.